Hello Queens, today let's talk about giving birth to your destiny. I liken it to the actual process of giving birth physically. A woman goes through so many changes during uh, a pregnancy. First she goes through conception, um, obviously she would know she's pregnant only after she has you know, missed her period or her cycle. Um, like the spiritual realm, you would probably conceive that you have a destiny once you've missed a mark in your life whatever mark it is at least for me i've lost a lot of marks if there's anything um like that and that drove me to find out what my destiny is why i was created why i'm going through all this nonsense you know and um i i liken the process to um the physical process because even in the first trimester a woman goes through you know internal changes uh, the fetus is developing and the and the, you know you've got to make sure that the uh, environment is conducive um, like the spiritual you you know once you have conceived that idea of greatness and that you are born for a purpose um, you then have to make sure the environment is conducive you need to be spiritually grounded you need to know exactly uh, what sort of things to do to make sure you are aligned with source and off we go to the second uh, trimester where now the baby or the fetus develops but now the changes are clear the changes are external as well and at a rapid pace the baby grows and that to me says um, you know when you have actualized that you have a destiny and a purpose now within the second trimester in your spiritual journey of discovering your destiny you would have to um, go through changes um, you could lose some friends um, you could um, repel certain people irritate certain people because of the thing you carry and we go off to the third trimester which is the most uncomfortable trimester really because you are heavy and you cannot move around that is when you lose baggage you need to consciously understand that you need to lose baggage you need to lose bad friends you need to reevaluate your relationships your situations and and you know make sure your baby or your destiny is growing um, as it ought to now the fun part is towards birth it hurts like hell i've gone through the process twice and i know labor is not easy but i'm here to tell somebody that you have gone through the process of discovering your destiny and god has actually guided you and led you towards labor and during labor just make sure that you endure those pains, those cramps, because it happens towards the end of your miracle or towards the end of your breakthrough, the realization of your destiny and the manifestation of all these blessings that we keep talking about um, in, your, in your destiny being revealed, the pain will hurt. Um, you know, there's going to be turmoil there's going to be opposition and you need to understand that there is no position without opposition just today the main reason i'm doing this message is to tell a woman that has gone through hell that is about to give up do not give up there is hope god is still there for you push push out your destiny don't ever give up refuse to be defeated our our, our god says in his word in Psalms 138 that he has a purpose and he will fulfill that purpose in your life. I love you. I pray today that no matter what the situation is, no matter what it looks like, be stubborn, remove your eyes from the problem and look at your maker and understand that he is here to hold you and guide you through it. There is no changing your destiny. You are a great woman and you will remain so. And whatever the enemy does to sabotage that plan, it is never going to come to pass. Isaiah 7 verse 7 says, it shall not happen. It shall not come to pass. I love you. Queen, I love you.